Hi reception, welcome to today's topic lesson. Okay, so yesterday we had a question about plants. In particular, we were asking ourselves, what things do all flowers have? Now, can you pause the video and talk to your helper? What were the three things we identified that all flowers have? Well done everybody, you remember that brilliantly. We talked about how all flowers have petals, stems and leaves and we said that although different flowers um, may be different in terms of their colours, the shapes, the sizes, the textures, those three things will always be there because that's something that's the same between different flowers. Now today's lesson, although we're going to use what we learnt about the flowers, so our knowledge of the world, we're also going to use some of our art skills now, okay, and we're going to make some models to show what we found out about plants. Now, I've decided that I'm going to make um, a model using junk modelling. So I'm going to gather up some recycling materials, things that I would normally throw away, and I'm going to use them to make some models of some flowers to show those three things all flowers have, petals, stems and leaves. I'm also going to make sure that I'm going to make two different flowers because I want to show that although flowers might be different in some ways, those three things will always be there. If you would like to make a junk model as well, Perhaps you need to pause the video now and go collect some things, but you could also do this in lots of ways. So you might choose that you want to show what you found out through painting, by making a collage. Perhaps you might even want to make a model using things like, you could even use Lego or your building blocks or any resource you have at home that allows you to show that flowers have those three things. So you can make that choice yourself, or you can do the same as I am. You can make um, a junk model model. OK, so I'm going to go gather all the things I need now. So I'm going to get the materials I need, as well as things like glue, scissors and tape, because I think they're going to be really handy to make things stick together. Um, and then I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to show you how I'm going to make my model. OK, I'll see you in a moment. Bye, reception. Hi, reception. OK, so I've been busy collecting things um, and I've chosen lots of different things. I'm not sure which things I'm going to use. Um, I've definitely got some. I need this got some tape and I've got some glue, Oopsie, some glue. I've got some cardboard from a cereal box, I've got some different coloured paper and card, there's a little bit of tissue paper I found, I even found a tiny bit of shiny paper that might be useful, and I've got some foam shapes I might be able to cut up too. I also found some plastic pots, different sizes, um, and I've got some crayons and I've even got some things I found which I thought perhaps I could draw around to make some different petal shapes maybe. I've got a little bracelet and some sort of different rectangle shapes too. They might come in handy for leaves maybe. Okay, reception. So as I say, today we are going to be demonstrating what we've learned. That means to show others what we've learned by making some art, okay? And you can make it however you wish, but I'm gonna do some junk modeling today. So I'm gonna talk you through um, the choices I'm making in my head really because that's part of the process isn't it we have to think about what we'd like to do try things out sometimes it won't work sometimes we'll have to change our plan and that's absolutely fine perhaps I will change my idea completely by the end I don't know okay so thank you for watching me I hope I give you some ideas okay so I know that all of my flowers that I make today need to have petals stems and leaves I know that these could look different though. So I'm going to have a look and see if I can get some ideas about what I could do. So, right, so I think this custard pot would be wonderful to tend to be a vase. So maybe I could put the flowers in here. Okay, now, so the first part of the flower, what's, oh, what's the long thin part that holds the top of the flower, the petals? Can you remember? That's right, it's the stem. So, stem, stem, stem. Well, do you know what I have got? this cardboard tube. So that could work as a stem. Oh, it's quite long and thin. But I could also, we might fall over. Um, I could even cut some strips of cardboard to make a stem as well. I think I'll start with this. And it is a little bit heavy, so I'm just going to weigh it down with, what could I weigh it down with? Let's try that. Voila. Okay, so my stem, we're going to make it green. So I'm going to wrap around some tissue paper. So, I'm going to cut some tissue paper. You can tear it. You might want to use crayons or paint or felt tip pens. I'm going to pop some glue on. Okay. And I'm 
we're going to wrap it round. And you will probably get a little more time to do this. So I'm going to be speeding along to make sure I have enough time to show you my steps. Okay, oh, I'm happy with that. I like the texture. A little bit bumpy, actually. There we go. So there's my stem. Now I need to make a flower. So I wonder if this could stick on there. What do you think? It's just a your empty yogurt pot. I've got an idea. I'm going to see if it will work. I'm going to use some tape, got some masking tape here, and I'm going to see if I can attach it to the stem. Um, let's think. I could try wrapping it round. Let's see. Well, maybe I should have put this on first before I put the. See, should change my plan already. Could have put this on first and then wrap the green. That's okay. I can always colour my masking tape in. I'll put some more around. Oh, I like this. Wow, that's a really big flower head. Okay, so I've got. Which, can you see very well? Okay, so I've got the top of the flower, and in here would be where the yellow part was, the pollen. Now, what goes around the top? The petals, well done. Now remember, we said the petals can be different colours and different shapes. So I think I'm going to orange flower. And I'm going to make my um, petals, can you see that, a heart shape. I've just got a heart bracelet I found from Chloe. And I'm going to quickly, oh, it's squeaky, draw some heart shapes. I think I'm going to have maybe room for four. Let's see. Oh, it's squeaky. There we go. So I drew around those, and I'm just going to cut them out. And I'm going to make sure I cut close to the line. And I'm holding my scissors carefully so that I can cut more accurately. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to think about how I'm going to stick these on. So I could try glue. Have you got any ideas, reception, what else I could do? Oh, yes, I could use the tape. Anything else that I could use to attach it? Blue tack, that's a good idea. There's lots of different ways of attaching things. Strings are also really good if you need to tie something on. If you've got any string at home, you wish to use that. Okay, nearly done. Four petals. And then I need to remember the other thing. So I've got a stem. I've nearly got the petals on my model. What's the thing that's missing reception? Well done, the leaves. Now, I think I'll try with, oh, with some tape. So the leaves now, hmm, I'm just looking at what I've got. I have got some, oh, let's see if that looks nice. I can bend it out. Ah, ah disaster. Let's try again. Might be, there we go. I'll stick that on in a minute. I'm just going to think about my leaves. So I think what I'll do is I will, I might use a bit of this green foam. I think that would look quite nice to make some leaf shapes. And I think I'm going to draw around this rectangle shape. I'm going to have some rectangle leaves. Right position. I'm going to pause the video just a moment so I can get this ready. And then I want to show you my finished flower at the end. Okay. Can't wait one moment. <gasps> Welcome back. Okay. I finished my flower reception. So. Here is my first model. Now, let me talk you through it. So, I used um, a long thin tube for the stem. I covered it with green tissue paper. I made some rectangle foam green leaves, but darker green, and my petals are heart shaped. Now, I also used a little hair bobble I found. Let me see it in there. Found this as well. So, I thought that could be the inside of the flower. So, I popped that in there. And I'm really happy with my first model. Now, I want to make another flower now, and I'm going to make it in a different way using different materials because I want to show that I, what I've learned about flowers is that they can look different, but they will always have those same three things. What were they again? Petals, stems, and leaves. Well done. So I had a quick look, and I've got a different idea now. So I'm going to make a smaller flower. This is quite a big flower. But I'm going to make a smaller one now, and I'm going to use for the stem. Similar shaped object, but look, much smaller and much thinner. So I'm going to use a straw. And I found this cardboard tube, and I had an idea. If I cut some holes either side, 
I might be able to get the stem to go through the middle. It's a bit hard to see, but there's two holes on either side. Let's just see if this will work. Aha! There you go. And now I've got a long trumpet style plant, um, flower like the one I found yesterday. So I need to make this look a bit more like petals. So I had another idea. I could cut, and I hope this works, some long slits. Um, I'm going a little bit thinner. About the same distance down. And then I think if I stretch them open, if I could just push them down, it will make a lovely petal head. Let's see. Okay, so I'll squash them down. They might look a bit like a... <gasps> oh, I'm pleased with that. Now, what to do next? Well, I need to perhaps add some colour. So what I might do is get some crayons. And I might make the petals, which is a bit tricky to see on the screen, but I'm using pink crayons to colour the cardboard in. I'm doing it quite quickly, but you can take lots of time making yours. Because I want to show that these petals, not only are different shapes, they're a different colour and a different size. So this flower here, oh, it's much smaller, but it still has petals and a stem. Oh, I've missed something. What have I missed, reception? That's right, some leaves. And I think for this, I'm going to be a bit, oh, I know what I'm going to do. On this cardboard, there are some leaf and pictures. I'm going to just borrow those. So I'm just going to cut out the leaves from the cereal box. Might have two. Oh. One. Not this side up, I want to. Because sometimes we can use pictures that are already there, can't we, to add to our own design? And these leaves are different in shape as well. These are a bit more oval. Oh, I like that. And I'm going to attach this on. Now I might use my tape again. I do like making things for you. And I found the tape has worked really well because the tape can be, you don't need scissors to tear it. It's quite sticky. If you make a mistake, you can also pull it off and readjust. There we go. Oh, and I might, I wonder if this will fit in there. I've got a, a nook up to it. Is it going to be too big? Oh, I don't know. Let's push it right down. Oh, that's actually helping to stop it falling down a bit. Oh, there we go. And here's my next flower. So I'm going to put my model together. And let's have a look. What have I got? i bring it a bit closer to show you. There we go. Oh gosh, a bit floppy. Let's stand you up and turn you around. There we go. Okay, so here's Mrs. Hutt's oops, model of some flowers and I've created this using lots and lots of different materials. I've got cardboard, I've got tissue paper, I've got paper, I've got tape, I've got plastic, all things that would normally be recycled or thrown away and I've made two different flowers. And although my flowers look very different, they're showing what I've learned about flowers that although they may be different in their appearances, there are certain things they will always have. This one's ginormous, isn't it? Let's hold it down a bit lower. There we go. So flowers will always have petals. They will have leaves. Can you see the leaves on that one? There's the leaf on that one. My flowers turn around. There we go. Um, and they will have stems as well to hold up the leaves and the flowers. Okay. And although they may look different in terms of their colours, their shapes, they might feel different in terms of their textures. They're still all flowers, and that's something that they um, are the way. Sorry, that's how they are similar to each other. Okay, reception. Well, I hope you have fun making your models. Remember, you can do it anywhere you wish. You can do it like I have, or you could do it some paintings, some uh, buildings with your blocks, with your toys, a collage, whatever you like to do to show what you found out. Okay, I hope you have fun making your models and make sure you use them afterwards to talk to your helpers about what you've learned about flowers. Okay, take care now, reception. I'll see you soon. Bye.